Cockney accent is one of the trickiest accents to understand, but no problem. Today, we are going to be working on it. We are going to be listening to Adele. Do you know Adele? International music sensation Adele in the past had a very strong Cockney accent, and we're going to be watching a video. We're going to break it down and help you understand more about this accent. Let's watch the video we're working on today. Well, I think since I was on Radio 1, I didn't got to meet Beyonce a couple of times, which the first time I really held it together, I was like, thanks for having me at the show, B, you know, rare, rare, rare. The thing is, I was in her dressing room and I was like, she has, there was only a little curtain separating us while she had her makeup done and I started like going, I think I can do this, I don't think I can do this. And she would have heard it all. And then she popped out as so I put on a brave face. But the second time I went out on a balcony and got on my hands and knees and cried. All right, there we go. There's a lot to take in there. How did you do? How much did you understand? Tell me in the comments. So we will be breaking this video actually into three sections. We're going to look at the start, we're going to look at the middle, and then we're going to look at the end. And then we'll put it all together and see if you can understand more after we've practiced and broken it down a little. First up though, let's look at three characteristics of the Cockney accent that will appear in this video. The first is TH fronting. This is where an F or a V replaces the TH in some words. You'll see this happen a lot where the unvoiced TH is replaced with an F and a voice TH is replaced with a V. For example, here's five occasions where the F replaces the unvoiced TH. Free instead of three. Through instead of through. Bath instead of bath. Teeth instead of teeth. Something instead of something. And here are some examples of the voice TH being replaced with a V sound. We have brother instead of brother. Mother instead of mother. With instead of with. Father instead of father. Number two is H dropping. We find this in the Cockney accent quite a bit. For example, instead of happy, they'll say happy. Instead of house, we'll hear house. Instead of heart, we'll hear art. Instead of hat, we'll hear at. Instead of hospital, we'll hear hospital. And the third one is the glottal stop. It feels like the T is taken away, but actually it's a slight closure of the vocal cords. Some examples of this in the middle of words are butter, instead of butter, it's butter. Instead of water, it's water. Instead of city, it's city. Instead of football, it's football. Instead of party, it's party. We can also find it at the end of words as well. So now we have that little bit of extra context. Let's try and watch the start of the clip one more time and see if we can patch together part of it and understand a bit more of what she's saying. We're going to break it down after watching the clip. Well, I think since I was on Radio 1, I didn't got to meet Beyonce a couple of times, which the first time I really held it together, I was like, thanks for having me at the show, B, you know, rare, rare, rare. So how did you do? Let's break it down a little bit. So let's see. The first thing she says is, well, I think since I last was on Radio 1, so we can see here a few of the features we talked about. Instead of think, she says, think, when I think, well, I think. Then she says, last, since I last, instead of since I last. And then she says, was, instead of was. So she's weakened the sound in the middle. So, well, I think since I last was on Radio 1. And then she says, I did, I got to meet Beyonce a couple of times. So we have here, I got to, this is quite common actually in English in general, where with uh, grammatical words like to, a, we, we weaken the sounds because they're so frequent in the language. We make it a, a bit of a weaker sound. It's a less important word. Um, so I got to, we had the O isn't no sound there. Instead of to, we have uh, to, to, I got to meet. And again, no T, I got to meet. You might say as a learner, but actually she's saying, I got to meet, I got to meet Beyonce. And then a couple of times, again, we have a weaker sound here, a couple of, no, a couple of times. So I got to meet Beyonce a couple of times. And then we have, which the first time I really held it together. So in this one, you can hear, which the first time, you might think that that's a global stop, but actually there, when there's two sounds, one at the end of the previous word and the start of the next word have the same sound. We often in English in general just use, just say the sound once. We don't say it twice. We wouldn't say first time. We say time, we say first time. Okay, that's quite common. That's not necessarily a feature of the Cockney accent. And then she says, I held it together 
again, we've got that it together. Again, we'd say a weaker sound, but actually it together. Actually, it's more likely that she just combined the two sounds there into one. So instead of it together, she said it together. So we got the one sound there. Again, not necessarily a feature of the Cockney accent. And then we have together. So instead of together. So instead of the TH, she's used a V. Then we've got was. It's popped up again. I was like, thanks for having me on your show, B. So let's talk about a few things here. We have was is back. I was like, I was like, I was like. Thanks, TH fronting again. Thanks instead of thanks. Thanks for having me. The H has been dropped from having. So instead of thanks for having me, thanks for having me at, at, the T has been dropped off there again. At your show, B, instead of at your show, at your show. So thanks for having me at your show, B, B for Beyonce. Instead of saying Beyonce, she's just uh, one, one letter, the initial letter of her name. And then we have you know, rare, 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 rare is just saying, like, blah, 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 basically. There's an extended conversation. She's cut it down, didn't didn't go into the whole thing. It probably wasn't important. But again, you know, instead of you know, you know. So it's not just about the Cockney accent we're learning here. We're actually learning some great features for yourself if you want to sound more natural. So a lot of English speakers will do this reduction of sounds. Instead of saying, got to, got to. Instead of saying, First time, first time. So let's see how much of this section you can understand now with all of those teaching points we talked about. Well, I think since I was on Radio 1, I didn't got to meet Beyonce a couple of times, which the first time I really held it together, I was like, thanks for having me at the show, B, you know, rare, rare, rare. So we got through the first section of the clip. Now let's look at the middle section. Let's break that down. First of all, try and remember the things we've talked about so far and see how much you can understand of this middle section now. Please. The thing is, I was in her dressing room and I was like, she had, there was only a little curtain separating us while she had her makeup done and I started like going, I don't think I can do this, I don't think I can do this and she would have heard it all. How did you do? This one is tricky, I will give you that. But hopefully some of the things you learned earlier, you could begin to pick out some things. So in this one, in the middle, she kind of stumbles a bit. So if you find in the middle it's super tricky, it's because she's also trying to find her words. So don't worry about that. But let's have a look at it. So let's look at this first part before she stumbles. The thing is, I was in that dressing room and I was like, if you look at the start, she says the, like a normal TH. So it must be noted that TH doesn't always change to be in an F or a V. So the thing, it does here though. Thing is, the thing is, we've experienced this already. Thing instead of thing. Then going on, I was in a dressing room. Her, no. No H, uh, and then interesting extra point here, dress in, ending on the end sound instead of an ng sound. So, a uh, dress in room, and an I was like, an instead of and. Do you notice the D has disappeared there as well? So, the thing is, I was in a dressing room and I was like, and then the stumble, she was, there was, so I was like, she was, there was only. So, that little bit there, we don't need to worry about too much. There was only a little curtain. There was only a little curtain. Little curtain. So we've got the global stop in the middle of the word here. Little, little curtain. Curtain. There was only a little curtain and separating. Actually, the and is an accident by her. But separating us while she was having her makeup done. So here we've got a couple of interesting things. Separate in instead of separating. So the... That N sound is just turned into an N and the glottal stop is there. Separate in. Separating us while she. And this bit is super interesting. While she. It should be whilst with a T sound at the end. But that linking we were talking about previously. The S and the S. There's no need for two S's. So she just used one. While she. So it's very interesting. So the whilst she. While she. Was having a makeup done. Having, having, no H or dropped H, uh, her, again, same here, having her makeup done. Then she says, and I started going, again, go in, ending on the N sound, started, no T, started, close up in the middle there. And next, I don't think I could do this, I don't think I could do this. It's just a bit quick the way she said it and the tone has changed, she's trying to show that she's in a panic, 
So, um, but really the only thing we need to be concerned about here is the TH on think. It's going to think, okay, with the F sound. So I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do this. And she would have heard it all. So interestingly, no dropped H on heard. I think it's because it's a very important word in the sentence. And that's something to think about. So sometimes the H will be produced depending on how important the word is in the sentence. Let's watch it back one more time. See if you can get it this time. The thing is, I was in her dressing room and I was like, she has, there was only a little curtain separating us while she had her makeup done. And I started like, going, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do this. And she would have heard it all. And then finally, let's go into that final section of this passage. <laughs> and then she popped out as so I put on a brave face. But the second time I went out on a balcony and got on my hands and knees and cried. So a lot shorter this part. Maybe it's a lot easier to understand now. We've gone through this a few times. There's a lot of those things that we've talked about again appearing here. Let's go through it. And then she popped out and D's dropped. And then she popped ah. Two things I want to talk about on here. T dropped again with the glow stop replacing it. And then ah instead of out. Ah, this is a common sound act- characteristics from the Cockney accent as well. Ah instead of out. And next we have so I put on a brave face. So here we have so I, which is actually so I. But a common thing throughout a lot of English you'll find is that this linking, actually there's an intrusive sound appearing here. There's a, there's a sound appearing, a consonant sound that's appeared in between two vowel sounds. This is very common. If you want to sound more natural, you want to get used to this happening. So, so, I, so, why, but she actually reduces the I a little bit here as a so, uh, instead, but you could do so, why. So I put, so I put, but she says put instead. She's dropped the T, she's put in the global stop instead. So I put on a brave face. Interesting thing as well, if you want to sound more natural, very common thing throughout English, some linking going on here. We have on a brave face, but she's, but we could say on a. So the N sound, the end of on, the consonant sound jumps on to a. On, in fact, if you want to say uh, the fourth thing, so I put on, ton, put on, and this combination on is very common combination, so it's worth practicing that uh, movement of sound rather than saying on, uh, on, put on. They've got three words there that are linked together, put on. So get used to that kind of thing, practice those combinations together to sound more natural. And then we have. But the second I went out on the balcony, but the second, but, but, she's dropped the T again, changed it for a global stop. But the second, again, a D disappeared. Second time I went out, again, we got this ah sound instead of ow. We got ah, ah, and no T sound. When, no T sound. So there's a lot of dropping or replacement going on here, I should say. But the second time I went out on the balcony, so watch out for those. And lastly, we have, and got on me hands and knees and cried. So we have got, instead of got, we have got. Then we have me, it should be my, if it's going to be like textbook English, it should be my hands and knees. Instead, it's me, she said here, me hands, no H again. So got on me hands, got on me hands and knees and cried. And let's watch that ending part one more time to see if you can grab everything. And then she popped out as I put on a brave face. But the second time I went out on a balcony and got on my hands and knees and cried. So now we've gone through the whole thing. We've learned some parts of Cockney accents as well. We've also learned some useful linking parts as well that you can use in your language to sound more natural. Let's try and listen to the whole thing and see if you can get as much as you can out of it this time. Well, I think since I last was on Radio 1, I didn't got to meet Beyonce a couple of times, which the first time I really held it together, I was like, thanks for having me at the show, B, you know, rare, rare, rare. The thing is, I was in her dressing room and I was like, she has, there was only a little curtain separating us while she had her makeup done and I started like going, I don't think I can do this, I don't think I can do this. And she would have heard it all. And then she popped out as so I put on a brave face. But the second time I went out on a balcony and got on my hands and knees and cried. And that's it for this video. How was it for you? Did you enjoy it? Was it useful? Tell me in the comments, I'd love to know. And if you're interested in the Cockney absence even more, please check out this video here. You're sure to find it useful.